you guys, it's Tyrone, the conservative guy, coming back at you with another video. I shot a couple videos, okay? So if you see me looking the same, it's because I shot them all. I'm in the car. Um, yeah, I had one I wanted to specifically give one of my viewers, you know, my two cents. Where do I stand on that whole, the whole thing with Osama? But that's the other video. Go check it out. Uh, this one is about Ice Cube. Ice Cube, what's up, man? What's up? You need to come to the conservative side, brother. You feel me? They're out there calling you all type of names. You know, they're calling him a coon and Uncle Tom and all kind of stuff. Why? Because he stepped out of his comfort zone. He said, hey, look, I'm doing my own research. You know, I'm doing history, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I brought it. Yes, I talked to the Trump administration about getting things better in the black community. Now let's 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 dissect this a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. As far as uh, common sense, okay. So the man doesn't need no help, right? We know Ice Cube got money. He makes movies. He made music. He's got money. So he went to talk on behalf. Hey, what can I get things? That, where where this is what we need. Not saying that all of his ideas was great ideas. Not saying that, um, you know, whatever. I'm just saying he pretty much, he stepped over there. And you know what? The Republican Party or the Trump administration was willing to sit down and talk with him. Because people don't realize that, man, the Trump administration, anything to make America better, they're willing to sit down, have a discussion, see what we can give and what we can take away from it. You know, it's all about, okay, yes, yeah, the Democrat Party's not willing to do that. And he realized that. He's like, you know, pretty much one of these guys are getting in the office. I pitched my campaign to both sides, you know, but yeah, he did sit down. And I mean, you can't get mad at him. And that just proves to you more about what the Democrat Party, you know, how they really are. As soon as you, whatever, step cross party lines, now you're not accepted and now you're all type of names, you know, um, the crazy thing when I was uh, when I used to vote Democrat way back in the day, you guys, because I did, yeah, way back in my twenties, uh, and even when I was a teenager, because I thought that that was what I was supposed to do, I was lied to before I took my red pill. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, um, I lost my train. Joe Biden moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, but see, before I take the red pill, you guys. Um, so, I mean, look, the Trump administration is always, and I mean, I, I don't see that coming from that. Like, oh, they're always on, that's what I meant to say. On the right, when I was a Democrat, they never used to call me names and attack me, ever, right? They'd be like, oh, man, telling you need to wake up, look at this fact, look at this, have you checked this out, this and this. But on the Democrat side, when you leave the Democrat Party, and go over now you're being canceled they want to talk stuff they want to call you names you know what you know what hey look you we love you right we love you come on be a conservative you i mean you got a lot of conservative values you just don't know it you know i mean Look at what conservatives stand for and then take a look at your own principles and values and see what it lines up with. Do it line up with the welfare state? Do it line up with aborting kids at nine months? Do it align with the sec? Uh, I mean, uh, taking away all the guns? Uh, I mean, you got to start making kind of decisions for yourself, IQ. I mean, Ice Cube, sorry. But yes, man, I just want to say congratulations to Ice Cube. Just, I didn't want, I'm not ranting or talking mess about you, Ice Cube, uh, because you was. You know, one of my favorite actors as well, and and I used to listen to all your music as well, uh, back when I was younger. So I'm not taking anything from you. You are a very successful man, and you are blessed by God. Okay, but yeah, man, that's crazy. I just didn't like how the left came out and attacked them. So I thought that somebody needed. Well, of course, a lot of people have came out and defended him. A lot of conservatives. So yeah. I'm going to come out as well and say, you know, Ice Cube, you don't have to think like the rest of them. You are an individual person with a free mind, okay? You, if you want to sit down with the Trump administration to work out a deal to see how you can help your people, then that's your right. And for the Democrat Party to be coming at him sideways and all these people now talking mess, you know what? Haters are going to hate. Let them hate, you know? You're doing the right thing. And pretty much, you're not doing it 
for yourself. You're doing it for, as what you said, I'm going to use your words, for the betterment of your people. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I would never, ever allow anybody to make me feel bad. Don't let, let them make you feel bad because you stepped across party lines to work a deal out. And I'm not saying that he's, uh, like he came over to our side, but, you know, and yeah, he did. He crossed party lines. He crossed party lines to get to see what he can do. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. And did you know that uh, some of those ideas was used in Trump's platinum plan? Huh? There you go. Some people are willing to listen to you. Trump is willing to listen to all of us. You know, uh, he goes and fight for us every day. So that's why we need four more years of this because I tell you this much, Ice Cube. I hope you, I hope you see this video, Ice Cube, because big fan. Um, remember, the Democrat Party is just going to keep telling you, "Yeah, we we'll, we we'll, we'll do it after election." Oh no, we'll do it after midterm election. The 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 the, the, the Democrat Party is the party I like to say is, "We'll do it tomorrow," but tomorrow never comes. Okay. The conservatives, we're going to get the job done. You feel me? So, just wanted to say, hey, kudos to you for speaking your mind and doing what you want to do, um, Ice Cube. And yeah, forget the Democrat Party. You don't need them. You got money. And on top of that, come on over to the right side. Trump 2020. God bless.